from the beginning, the world has told us that we are incapable, worthless, fearful, and unlovely. We have been silenced, belittled, beaten down, and taken advantage of. Some of us give ourselves over to degrading thoughts, lies, and abuse. Others shut down, build walls, and give in. We have been captivated by lust, anger, gossip, and envy. Some women, in their desperation to feel beautiful, tear other women down. They harbor hate and jealousy, wanting not only to be beautiful, but to be superior. Others mask their beauty in masculinity, attempting to hide the way they really view themselves. Some of us flirt, flaunt, and give ourselves away to prove that we are desirable and we do have value. Men have become our focus, the temporary cure for an eternal longing. They satisfy us for a moment, but in the end, we are left feeling empty and alone. Some of us are taunted with the idea that we are unloved. It manifests itself in loneliness, depression, seeking love from men, approval, and popularity from peers. In order to be worthy, we must portray the perfect woman with the perfect personality, body, sense of humor, mind, and spirituality. If we do not meet these standards, we criticize ourselves and our thoughts are consumed by the condemnation of others. We torture ourselves with past regrets, remembering only the mistakes that we have made and the mistakes of others that have marred us. We are afraid to show anyone who we really are, hiding the pain, the hurt, the emptiness, showing only what we believe others want to see. We have been left abandoned and scarred by the people that were supposed to love us the most. It becomes difficult or even impossible to trust others and even God. Because of this, we are left with a void and a longing that cannot be filled by anyone or anything on this earth. But because of one man's unconditional love and desire for me, I am more than this world could ever create me to be. I possess beauty and worth that can only be supplied by the one who created it and gave it to me. I am made in the likeness of God himself, beauty and confidence overflowing from my heart and mind. In him, I have purpose. He is my purpose. He desires so strongly to have a deep and intimate relationship with me and to fill my every longing. That void in my heart is what keeps me close to God, for he is the only one who can fill it. He calls me to something great, to be part of a great adventure, to accomplish his mission for my life. He gives me everything that I need for life and godliness. He does not call me and leave me on my own. He provides for my every need, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. He equips me and goes with me, inside of me. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. In him and in his strength, I am capable of anything and everything he is calling me to do with boldness, confidence, fearlessness, and heart. In him, I can walk boldly into the future to face whatever he has for me. In him, my worth is far beyond anything this world could offer, and my value is unfathomable. In him, I am confident in who he has made me to be and what good gifts he has given to me. In him, I am clothed in righteousness. I am a saint. It doesn't matter what the world says or throws at me, for my identity is found in Christ. It is not a game of comparisons. The way I look and my wiring is exactly who God designed me to be for a specific purpose and plan. I will not criticize what I look like or my personality, for it is God who designed me and gave me everything that I have. My beauty is not found in how people view me or how many compliments I gain. It is found in Christ who made me, loves me, and gave himself up for me. Even though I have been hurt, scarred, and torn apart, Jehovah Rapha, my healer, has picked me up, cleansed me, and loves me even still. 
Through all my past mistakes and future failings, God has forgiven me and will never condemn me. I am a daughter of the King and have been covered in his blood. From the beginning, God created woman to be his final touch, the perfect image of his compassion, love, wonder, and beauty. I fear the Lord, help the needy, love the gospel, impact my home and my community, and change the world because of him.